after any enemy contact or other significant event that involve expending ammunition, possible friendly casualties, or destruction of equipment, and the squad is no longer receiving enemy fire or under any kind of obvious or overt threat, the squad consolidates and reorganizes to prepare for follow-on operations. The first step is to establish 360 degree security. In this situation, the squad leader is using the strong point technique. The team leaders will emplace their team members at the 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and the 8 o'clock with the lead team taking the 10 to 2 and the trail team taking the 4 to 8. The team leaders assign sectors of fire that interlock at least 35 meters out. The squad leader emplaces the machine gun team at a location he feels best defends the squad position if they are attacked, in this case the 6 o'clock position. The machine gun has a sector of fire that is independent of the positions to its left and right, and is able to move to the 9, 12, or 3 o'clock positions without affecting 360 degree security. While the team leaders emplace their men, they begin the next step of gathering ace reports. Team leaders must physically check their men to gather ace reports. ACE stands for A, ammo, the number of full magazine, drums, boxes, etc. C, casualties, check for signs of bleeding or shock. E, equipment, quickly inspect mission essential equipment to ensure it is not missing or has become damaged and unusable. Once each position is in place and all ACE reports have been gathered, each team leader will report back to the squad leader in the center of the perimeter to report the results. The ACE reports inform the squad leader if any key positions require filling. For example, if the RTO was wounded and unable to perform his duties, the squad leader could task one of his team leaders to provide a rifleman to replace the wounded RTO, or if one of the team leaders was killed, the squad leader would appoint the next senior man in that team to replace the dead team leader. Once the squad leader fills key positions, he ensures all key weapons and equipment are manned. For example, if a saw gunner was wounded, the squad leader would ensure that the rifleman from that team manned the saw and all associated equipment. Teams will always attempt to reman weapons and equipment within their own team. If for some reason that a team could not do this, the squad leader would direct that equipment be distributed to the other team. It is very important that the squad leader be aware of any weapon system or equipment that has been distributed outside its original team. The M240 Bravo machine gun will remain with the gun team. If either member of the gun team is wounded or killed, a rifleman from either team will be assigned to fill in as the assistant gunner. The team leaders can carry their team's M203s if necessary. All supplemental ammo, AT4s, M18s, demo, etc. are cross-level between the teams. Since the squad members probably fire differing amounts of ammunition, the squad leader ensures that ammunition is equally distributed throughout the squad. The squad leader relies on his team leaders to know the ammunition status of his team members and to redistribute the ammunition accordingly. For example, if the rifleman in the lead team is only one full magazine, but the team leader and grenadier each have four full, they would each give up one magazine to the rifleman so everyone would now have three full mags. If the saw gunner was out of ammo, each member of the team would give up magazines to him because the saw provides a large portion of the team's firepower and can fire using M4 magazines. When each individual team has been leveled internally, the team leaders cross-talk and cross-level between teams the team leaders give their account to the squad leader. If there is a big difference in the amount of ammo each team has, the squad leader will direct the team with the most ammo to give some up to the other team. If necessary, the squad leader, RTO, and AG will give up ammo to bring up the fire teams to a combat load. Ammo redistribution must be done very quickly without prompting by the squad leader because the squad might be forced to move out at any moment, and no one moves without ammo. Once all ammo has been redistributed, the RTO or squad leader calls in a salute report to the platoon leader or platoon sergeant. The RTO prepares the salute report during the previous steps of consolidation and reorganization, but the squad leader checks the report for accuracy before sending it up. Salute stands for size of the enemy force or the approximate number of rounds fired at the squad if the contact was simply indirect fire. Activity what was the enemy doing before, during, and after the contact, location of the enemy force or the contact, uniform or attire the enemy was wearing at the time of the contact or last seen, B-52 
be as detailed as possible if the enemy blends in with the civilian population. Time of the initial contact and or the time the squad broke contact. Equipment the enemy was using include things like weapons, vehicles, construction equipment, etc. Sending up a timely and accurate salute report is crucial to higher headquarters ability to respond appropriately to the situation. Once the platoon leader or platoon sergeant receives the salute report, the squad leader calls for medical evacuation of any wounded or dead. Any first aid is started as soon as the squad establishes security, therefore, the casualties should be ready for evacuation. If the squad as a whole is low on ammo, the squad leader requests an emergency resupply. If the squad is no longer capable of completing its assigned mission, the squad leader aborts the mission and calls for extraction or seeks further guidance from higher. If the squad leader determines he can continue the mission, he replans his route to ensure he can reach his ultimate objective from his current location. If the squad has been traveling in vehicles and one of them was damaged beyond immediate repair, the squad leader reconfigures the vehicle load plan to ensure mission essential equipment stays with the squad. The ultimate goal of the squad is to fight on and complete the mission.